Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can send reminders three days prior to due date. So this is my list. I have a column with name due date. And these are the tasks assigned to the developers who are working on the tickets. I would like to create a flow, Power Automate based flow that should trigger an email to to the primary owner of the ticket three days prior to the due date. Click on create. This flow is going to be scheduled flow that will run every day. This is what exactly we want. Click on create. Search for get items. Provide the site address. And in filter query, I would like to retrieve only those items whose status is in progress. So now let me quickly test it. Our flow ran successfully. Okay. Next step Next step we would like to filter out the items based on the due date. So include filter array. In from select value and the condition should be I have an expression let me quickly copy paste it navigate to expression and use this expression so what we are doing here is first we are retrieving the due date from the get items and then we are converting it using ticks similarly we are getting today's date using utc now function and again we are converting this into ticks finally we are by the help of sub function we are subtracting both the dates and then we are dividing the output with this so we are converting all the values into ticks and then finally we are dividing by the one day ticks value click on ok and the output should be equal to 3 if the due date is equal to 3 then we should uh, trigger an email to the respective users next after retrieving the filtered item the next step is to select the email IDs of the user click on select in the from select body and in the map first we need the id of the ticket navigate to expression write this expression in order to select the id similarly we need the email of of the 
developer the person who is working on the ticket similarly navigate to expression search for item then my column name is assigned to filter out the email id using this expression click on okay i also want the link item link so user can directly navigate from the email itself navigate to expression search for item and provide the link why we are using curly braces here reason we are getting the output from filter item in this particular format so we need to use the curly braces uh, in order to you know retrieve the link of that particular item click on ok I believe we are good with the information user can quickly get the details related to the uh, ticket or user may click on the link as well in order to check the complete detail for that particular item next step is to trigger the email so search for apply to each in apply to each select output of select then search for send an email send an email from a shared mailbox provide the shared mailbox address into click on add dynamic content and write this expression item and write this expression to extract the email id of the user from select so by the help of this expression we can extract the email id for that particular user in subject i already have a template for this let me quickly copy paste the write up So if you would like to get the task title as well, then let me quickly check the column name. Write this expression to extract the name of the issue. expression item and the column name in select our column name is issue click on ok due date let me quickly include due date as well Similarly, copy paste the expression in the email body. Also, I would like to provide the link, item link. So, we already have a link in our previous object. Here is the link. Click on OK.
now we have provided the enough information related to the ticket now let me quickly test it our flow ran successfully there are four users the first one is this okay let me quickly verify If you enjoy the video and want to stay up to date related to Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint and RPA, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support really helps me out. See you in the next video.